It's critical that we support interdisciplinary research because it's actually very difficult for academics who are trained in specific disciplines to interact. So we as the funders can create the infrastructure, it might be a building, uh, it might be a project, it might be a seminar, but also we can provide research that is truly interdisciplinary um, because what we do know is that the real magic occurs when the disciplines collide. So it's in the national interest to actively promote and support uh, interdisciplinarity. The social sciences have been far more effective, I think, than the arts and humanities in terms of, of answering questions that seem economically relevant. But we have, although we're mainly non-vocational subjects in the arts and humanities, we can link with the social sciences so easily in terms of being self-reflective, in testing models, that uh, show how, how governments work in thinking about a lot of the soft areas like self-analysis, ethical citizenship, volunteering. Those are all issues the Arts and Humanities methodologies encourage us to do well. They are all issues that are not seen as economically relevant. And so our task is, first of all, to tell the general public and the educated person who's our funding master that these are relevant. Uh, to argue very, very strongly that we have something to offer to community well-being and that it is valuable. You could say that my research is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Using digital methods, I can read millions of words in a relatively short space of time. I'm interested in the nuances of human language, the things which don't occur very often but still occur regularly enough for them to be important. I couldn't look at my research from the same perspective without using digital methods. So interdisciplinary research has really been a major part of my career because it's done three things. First it's helped me with the actual research that I engage in because the topic needs to be made relevant both to the individuals but also to the subjects of the work. So you can't do a lot of work in the complete theoretical domain. The second thing has been that it's been a real way to engage with new questions and to find this idea of what actually real problems are in the, uh, in the context of the data and of the uh, use cases. And finally, actually, it's been a personal benefit because there's nothing quite like working with people who have real passion for their uh, topic. There's nothing quite like having experts who really want to answer something and really care about the results, and that's been very strong for us.